Now let's take a look at some of my key points. If the Davison Cardinals intend on defeating the Carmen Ainsworth Cavaliers this evening, the first thing they'll need to do is contain leading scorer Keon Sauls. They'll need to keep their big man out of foul trouble, hit their outside shots, and slow down the pace of tonight's game. Now let's take a look at these points one by one. With just over 13 and a half points per game, Keon Sauls leads the Carmen Ainsworth Cavaliers in scoring this season. While Sauls may be Carmen's most impressive threat on paper, the Cardinals will be facing a relatively new adversary in Brandon Stevens this evening. Stevens is finally back on the Cavaliers roster and has been playing with drive in recent weeks. Look for him to be a threat in tonight's game. Davison will also need to keep their big men out of foul trouble in tonight's game. Forwards Mike McManaman, Mike Lyle, and Chris Lang have been the focus of the Cardinals scoring all season. If they get into foul trouble early, look for them to ride the bench and the Cardinals will be forced to play less experienced players like Phil Smith. Hitting outside shots will also be a focal point for the Davison Cardinals in tonight's game. With the loss of Chris Finley from the Davison roster, players like Mike Zeller and Tommy Webb will need to step up and hit three-point shots. The Carmen Ainsworth Cavaliers pride themselves in playing a fast-paced, high-tempo basketball game. If their Cardinals can slow it down and keep it more to their style, getting the ball inside for easy buckets to their big men, they shouldn't have any problem coming out on top tonight. My prediction for the Cardinals' final home game of the 2004-2005 season is a 60-54 win over the Cavaliers. The